welcome to Grizzly Gulch. This is the location for snacks for In the Wild VBS, and I love this location. This is kind of set in the Rocky Mountains, so you're thinking kind of out west, and this is a great location to show off grizzly bears and foxes. You know, we even have a waterfall here with a busy little beaver back here who's been hard at work, and so this is a great time to bring in some animals that might be a little more familiar to kids in your church. This might actually be in their backyard, so they may have seen these things. And so this is a, a lot of fun to decorate. Now we've set it up in front of an actual snack bar in our church, so we have some restrictions that we had to work around, a counter to hide and things like that. So use what's at your disposal. You know, build it to fit your space and your needs. Now one of the things I love about snack is even if you don't do something elaborate like this, there are plenty of ways that you can easily bring this theme into your church. So here's one of the ways. We would have the in the wild tablecloth covering all the tables and then on top we've done gone very natural. So we have a brown piece of paper. This is just craft paper straight up off the roll. We've done nothing special to it. But what you could do is make a stamp or use the stamps uh, that, that we'll have and stamp paw prints all over. You could Sharpie, you could paint them, maybe have some little, uh, little three-pronged triangles that would give uh, the illusion of little birds who have walked all over this paper. So it's fun. We've also brought in a live plant and some rocks, which I'll show you how to make in just a second. But one of the things I love is this little hidden animal tucked in here on the snack table. Right here, we have a mountain lion who's hiding behind this rock. You know why? Because there's his tail. That's how we know he's hiding there. This is just made out of half inch foam. You could make it out of cardboard as well. We've painted both sides and just come in with a little dry brush and added some fur texture to him. So he's really cute and he's just tucked in behind these rocks hiding really well. So the rocks look like this when they're all assembled. They're just made out of styrofoam. We took scrap styrofoam that we had and we pieced three pieces together and glued them together with heavy duty construction adhesive so they're not going anywhere. And I'll show you how we've got this great texture on this rock by taking some pieces that I've already cut into a rough shape. Now I'm for the sake of time I'm only going to do two. So you see I've got some blue board here two inches thick that are already in kind of a basic shape. I cut these with my jigsaw but now I'm going to come over and use the hot knife which I know people love. I love too. A hot knife is a great tool. It's going to take just a minute to heat up. This is a crafter's hot knife. You can find these online. You can find them at some craft stores. Even places like Harbor Freight and Granger, they sometimes carry these so uh, for in their foam cutting section. You can find all kinds. This is kind of a cheapy one because you can imagine with all of the VBSs that we've decorated for over the years, we go through these pretty quickly. So don't, you know, Feel like you have to spend hundreds of dollars on one. This $30 job, this $30 one will do the job just fine. So while this is heating up, you'll begin to know it's ready when it starts to smoke a little bit. I've cut these shapes into just a basic rock shape. Again, remember after we've cut these, we're going to glue them together. So we'll create a rock. But you'll know again, here it goes, starting to smoke. And what I'm going to do is just kind of slice off the end just a little bit. I can lay my knife flat if I want and kind of slide it through and basically I'm sculpting this rock as I go. We want to take off the, any smooth crisp edges because rocks don't have smooth crisp edges. They're rocky. So if you lay it in for a second you see how it's just going to burn right through. You can even come in and draw some cracks and some creases but go along that edge and just lay it down and burn in some basic shapes. You're going to want to do this all over your rock. If you've cut in, you know, you make a mistake, you burn too much, that's okay. You just lay it in here and say, I did this on purpose. So after you've created this basic kind of rock shape, then you're going to want to paint it. And painting is the other secret to getting a good rock texture. You see how it's starting to take shape? I would do that with both of these rocks and then I would glue them together and then I would paint them. Now another thing you can use is, is called a heat gun. It looks a little bit like a hair dryer and it does the same thing. It will melt the foam and create a great texture. So if you were to hold that over you can melt in some additional ridges and edges but that's as easy as it, it has to be. I mean you don't have to do anything complicated to make your snack area come to life. 
And this is a great thing to use it on your tables. You can also go ahead and do these tabletop displays ahead of VBS. Start using them on your registration table. Use them if you've got a Wednesday night supper at church, use them then. Use that to start promoting and to help with enlisting teachers to come and join you during VBS. So you're gonna love Grizzly Gulch because of all the animals and because of how easy it's gonna be to bring it to life for In the Wild.